think David's going to shoot these. Just film just in case he does. I've just took a shot at one off the bipod. But there's long grass in between the muzzle and the target. And even though it run my zero, I still missed. I didn't even wound it. And then David took it with quite a long shot, but he's not recording today. It must have been a good 50, 55 yard shot he took. And it looks like. Looks like he's uh, he missed that one. <laughs> Compato got it though. That's how the Compato does it. 51 meters, six, uh, 56 yards. This one's 33 meters. And I don't even know if I've cocked from the last shot. Yeah, I did. And the one for the compatto. It's about 33 meters, it's about 36, 37 yards. Right, as you can see, I'm stood up now. I'm uh, basically resting on this post here, but the shot, uh, what I should have actually kept, but I deleted it once I'd missed, uh, it was on the grass there in the bipod. It's the one I was talking about. It was only on my zero, but if I zoom in, Hopefully you can see these long bits of grass and the target was just there. Uh, and even though it was on me cross here and it should have been in the back, I didn't think, take into consideration the long grass, which was a bit amateurish. Uh, and the pellet just went, well, either left or right and above it, but by a mile, I didn't even touch it. So I've stood up now, and you can see now I've had one at long range and one at what, you might, what I might call medium range. So just be aware of grass, because even a blade of grass can knock your pellet off. I've moved over now. Yeah, I'm sweating as well. Moved over now, and uh, I've eaten up with Davy. He's had one. Uh, over there, how far? About 25 yards. About 25 yards. Uh, long range one and he's had the long range one, what uh, I missed first shot. With two bits of white tape on it. Yeah, just showing him the footage from the uh, long range one I took. He didn't take a shot, they must have uh, been spooked from something else. Yeah. But the only reason I took a shot is because I thought you'd shot. You robbed my rabbit. So I robbed his rabbit, but he robbed my first one. Yeah. Shooting. He's using his HW100 and I've got the compact. I'll do a little bit of filming now, Davy shooting. Yeah, there's a pigeon coming in. You can see Peter, aka Will Wirrell Hunter, got our new tops and hats on. Thank you very much. Making good use of them. And we've christened them already. Davy's just gonna have a shot of shoot this rabbit here. Great shot. That's 62 yards. Let's zoom out. There we go. It's a good shot. How many did you give that? Two and a half million bucks. Yeah, lovely. On a great. 35 yard zero. That's a great shot, mate. Thank you for going on. We're still leaving and see for long shots like that. Yeah, no breeze whatsoever. Got him. That was uh, not very far on my cross there. 28 meters ish. Didn't laze him. 
trying to hide in the grass. So, put that pigeon from that phone's post there. The rifle is not cocked. I'm going to pull the trigger. You can hear that just so people know. All right. and I'm not even going to put it centre of barrel. And you'll see Davies down there. And the pigeon. It's just here. Nice and clinically dispatched. I'll just give that pigeon to Davey to hold a second. And he said that his rabbit, when I told you about his shot, here it is. I'm going to pick it up. Obviously, Davey's not filming today. Oh, a lovely shot. I'll just zoom in. Really nice shot placement there. It's like it just dropped straight on its face. <coughs> oh yeah. You get much better than that. Well done Davy. And I'm just pulling the trigger again, it's still no different. I've not uh, put a pellet in there near that and I'm gonna keep Davy out of centre of barrel and zoom in you can see where he is, how far away he is so the barrels there look pointing to the right of him by a long way uh, and there he is just in picture now but like I say it's not loaded just so I don't get people saying yeah you could have shot him I'm not that stupid here's the rabbit Davy shot at 25 yards nice headshot thanks to our pigeon mm -hmm. Just waiting for him coming out. Along this, basically along this hedge here. Yeah. Straight down. I didn't have the range finder on me. Rabbit here is 38 yards here. Just over your zero, isn't it? Great shot, Davy. Just over Davy's zero and by three yards what we've got now is called horse camouflage look so he's got him there and we've got this one here that's horse camouflage <laughs> see his head's getting bit <laughs> dropped him that was 36 meters 39 yards. Yeah, you can see the lights going now on this Sony Andy cam. It's not got night shot. So we're going to do a pickup now. This is the last one I've just shot. 39, 40 yards. Oh yeah, you can see bleeding from the head. Went straight over as you saw. Nice. There's the other side. Nice clean head shot. There's Davy. Picking uh, that one up we shot earlier on. Is that the one you shot from that long distance? Uh, yeah. I'll zoom in a bit. Hopefully there'll be enough light with the camera. Just point to the uh, shot placement. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Lovely, mate. That was a long shot as well, wasn't it? There's some more down here. I'll yeah. just uh, pause the camera and then I'll come round. All right. Maybe he's just looking for this one down there we shot at 39 yards. And 
another one. So another long range shot. Perfect shot placement again. Don't know who shot this one, me or Davy. I think that one might have been Davy. That one's mine, definitely mine. That's that little one that popped out. That should be a headshot. Yeah, it's just to the uh, side of the eye. Camera's probably not picking it up. Another one, another one. Hey, we've done alright, haven't we? Yeah. And there's them you've took to the car already. Can you pick them two up? I've got three here. David's got two. I've got a pigeon and another rabbit you took to the car, innit? Yeah. Oh, cool. Is that the one that you got at 38 yards as well? That one there, yeah. Yeah, cool. Hmm. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Right, I think we've barely just got enough light. So we've come it's to actually the. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, exactly. Uh, we've come down, we've got six rabbits there, and you see there's one pigeon. There's also the one I shot off the uh, pylon, uh, which we didn't retrieve, but as you saw on camera, it was a clean kill. So it's been alright, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a good night. Some long range shots as well, because it's mm. perfect weather for it, isn't it? These tops from Pete had to keep us cool as well. Yeah. It's been good, because it's been quite hot this evening, hasn't it? Yeah, roasting. Right, on the way back from driving, uh, from Davies after shooting them rabbits in his paddocks I decided because it's a nice night I'm going to come to one of my horse fields in Gloucestershire uh, with their night vision equipment uh, and see if we can get one or two rabbits so I'm going to sneak round the corner now uh, with the compacto and see how we get on so here's the first rabbit of the night then is it 28 meters or 30 yards you can see I'm turning on the night vision laser range finder which is an IR laser uh, it gives me the exact distance to the target in complete darkness see I'm just rechecking resting on the fence post uh, and that rabbit rolls cleanly over a few kicks on its back but that's even done for tonight or for that night I should say I'm pleased with that shot next one's just about to come in at 27 yards or 25 meters you can see I'm shooting through a fence uh, you can see his mates off to the right but his mate runs when I actually hit this one a little bit of old under uh, and he's clinically hit as well the last one for the night then at 38 yards or 35 meters you can see he's just popping out the uh, bushes at the side of the edge and he thinks he can't be seen but obviously he can so the laser range finder again gives me the exact distance and I just give him a little bit of hold over just what's required uh, for that distance and you watch he goes straight over as well the Bisley's Magnum has hit really hard really good pellet in the compacto right I'm having to use another light because uh, this is my Sony Handicam as we've already said <laughs> it don't work with uh, without extra light so I've got one there and then The ones there for this side, so that's the two of the three shots. Goes back to 50 meters. Obviously, we didn't need to go to 50 meters. So there's the third one. Another nice headshot, as you'd expect. So I'm gonna put all three together now, uh, and then take a picture on my phone. So there we go. Three shots. Three bunnies, the compacto, using the IR laser rangefinder, it works at night. Was 36 meters. That was 35 meters.
the young in here at 31. There was two, I can't see the other one. It might be somewhere in there. Well, I'm just doing the pickup, and there's one of them rabbits. Obviously, it's just the other side of the electric fence. So I'm going to have to try and get under this fence without getting a jolt uh, and retrieve that. Well, I managed to get him. Uh, I used that stick there and dragged him as far as I could. But, yeah, nice headshot. Not a long distance though. You can see the blood clot in the ear. So over to another one I can find. This one looks like he was just about to try and escape down his hole. Nice shot. Perfect shot placement from the angle he was at. Just the right size for eating his. So there's them three. Picked up. Not bad so far for the uh, pattern. Down he goes. Woody, standing unsupported. Not far, I'd say 15, 15 yards. Yeah, got him nicely. Do that, right, we'll get around these bushes and show you. Right, we'll get over this giant hogweed. Well, there he is. Absolutely destroyed. Compatto. There we go. There's that pigeon you just see me take standing unsupported. Nice clean neck shot. Danny went actually dead before he hit the floor.